As an aide to then State Senator John Olver, my first community development project was uh, working with the mayor and the city officials here in Northampton on the question of redevelopment of what was then the Northampton State Hospital property. Uh, with Governor Michael Dukakis talking about deinstitutionalization of those suffering with mental illness into community-based programs, uh, the mayor and the city understood that this huge spanse of land was going to be an opportunity for redevelopment and they wanted to start doing the planning and uh, Congressman Olver helped them get uh, financing to do some very significant community-based visioning and planning for this property. Well, uh, many years later, as a state senator and a freshman state senator, uh, I was in place as they finally decided to close the institution and uh, have people move into the community. And so uh, long-held plans and visions for redeveloping the property took on a new life. And um, they took the plans off the shelf. Legislation was passed, uh, then Representative uh, Bill Nagel and myself as the state senator. And uh, by the way, Representative Peter Cocott was uh, aide to uh, Representative Nagel at the time. And so together we all worked on uh, developing the legislation that was necessary to uh, redevelop the property. And here we are now, a couple of decades later, and seeing the fruits of all of that labor. Uh, so here we have behind me some of the uh, mixed-use housing that was developed. Uh, we have uh, a building that was completely uh, renovated and restored. It used to house uh, uh, mental health, health patients. It now is uh, home to many families. Uh, over uh, my other shoulder, we have new construction of uh, uh, both home ownership opportunities as well as rental properties, mixed use of low and moderate income people. And then just beyond are some single family homes. So essentially we're seeing the creation of a whole new neighborhood here. But it's not just uh, about housing, there's also economic development and across the street the uh, new facility for Cole Morgan has been built. Uh, there are plans for additional expansion of commercial uh, efforts here uh, in front of the old Haskell building. Uh, they're hoping to put in a, a small uh, collection of uh, shops that uh, could provide for the needs of people who are living in this neighborhood. And if you go beyond the buildings, you have the community gardens and you have passive recreation. So here is another example of what uh, uh, legislators uh, work on with municipal officials and, and take great pride in the jobs that are created as we construct and renovate properties and then uh, providing opportunities for home ownership, for uh, new rental units, uh, as well as for uh, commercial and uh, uh, even in the case of Cole Morgan, uh, industrial development. Jobs are created while the work is going on and then the people who live in these places uh, work in the community, work in the region and contribute to uh, the economy. Uh, this isn't the only development going on in Northampton. Uh, we have a vision for uh, expanding and modernizing the three county fairgrounds and I was able to get uh, four million dollars to help reconstruct uh, the horse barns uh, which will make possible the continuation of certain events at the grounds and they have plans for another 30 plus million dollars worth of improvement on that property to modernize and make possible all kinds of other activities that might otherwise not be possible there. And of course it doesn't stop there. Northampton is known as one of America's best uh, small arts cities. We have a number of performing arts venues including the Academy of Music and a, again a, a little bit more than a decade ago I was able to secure about two million dollars to help uh, with doing some basic improvements to the building uh, both on the inside and the outside and, and uh, there are several other uh, projects uh, going on in the city that uh, relate to uh, cultural venues and to cultural improvement. Uh, so there's plenty going on here in Northampton in terms of trying to uh, identify new opportunities for economic development, uh, improve the property tax base, improve the opportunity for jobs, and uh, we're standing in one of the proudest sites, I think, in terms of uh, the accomplishment of local uh, political people 
uh, and community leaders in helping to take um, a property and breathe new life into it.